Hey there, it's Erin with Time Saving Templates, and, and today I'm going to be going over one of the metrics we have included in our free compensation metrics cheat sheet for the HR professional, and that is going to be range spread. So you'll see, you may have seen this cheat sheet before, I'll link to it in the comments. You can sign up to get it emailed to you, and we've done already done a couple videos on some of the other metrics covered in this cheat sheet, like compa ratio. Let's see, we've done range penetration or position and range, midpoint, midpoint differential, but we haven't done one on range spread yet, so I'm going to go over that today. So let me open up an example file. I'm going to be using the merit worksheet, which includes a combo up the merit worksheet. We're just going to use one tab in here for the example, the tab with the salary ranges, but I'll also link to this template. It includes way to budget and allocate merit increases and a merit increase matrix where you can add your own guidelines on performance ratings and their pay in position to the salary range and recommend a merit increase based on that. So that's all I'll say for that. There's another video that goes over this template. For now, we're just going to be looking at the salary ranges tab. And so if you ever have to calculate range spread, it's super easy to do. Say that you already have salary ranges. Maybe you just have a min and a max. That's all you really need to calculate the range spread. Midpoint we do have another video show you how to calculate midpoint if you don't have midpoint. It's basically the middle value between min and max. So with the range spread, if I had all of this information, I can calculate range spread. If I have midpoint and range spread, what you want the range spread to be, then we can also back out and calculate the min and the max from that. So there's two different ways you can use this range, range spread metric. So I'm going to be going over both ways you can use that metric. Okay, so it's just going to be equal parenthesis, and we're going to take the max minus minimum, close parenthesis, and then divide by the minimum of the range, and that's giving us 30% range spread. I'm going to drag it down, and we've got 30% range spread for everything here. That's one way to calculate it, but say that we have just the midpoints or we want to increase this range spread. Say that we want to have some grades be 50%, some 40, some 30. Well, we can do that too, but we need to start with the midpoint. Um, so the midpoint will always be the middle value. So when you start with the midpoint, the range spread is really going to tell us where to place your min and max. So if we wanted to start with a higher 50%, 40 and then maybe 30%, we could do something like that. Okay, so now that we have midpoint range spread, now we can go over the formulas for min and max, which are two different formulas. Okay, so min is going to be equal to the midpoint. You want to calculate the minimum first, and I'll go over why in a second. It's a different formula than the max. So we're going to take midpoint divided by, and then parenthesis, 1 plus range spread divided by 2. So we're taking half of the range spread, and we're taking that midpoint divided by half of the range spread, basically, and we're getting 39,680. So basically cutting that range spread in half, dividing midpoint. Now, you would think you could use the same formula and multiply midpoint times half of the range spread, but it turns out you can't always increase and decrease a number by the same percentage. So for the maximum, we're going to do a slightly different formula. We're going to take equals the minimum times close parenthesis, and we're going to do 1 plus total range spread, and then close parenthesis. Okay, so that gives us a 50% range spread from 39 to 59. We're saying that's a 50%. So say I were to take this range spread formula, the same one we had done above, and just test it out, do equals the max minus 
range min, and then divide it by minimum, then I'm getting 50%. And oops, we don't, we need to drag this down. So the formula stays the same. I'm just referencing a different number here since I put a different percentage on each row. And then we also need to do the same with the max. The max is referencing the range spread. And so we're going from higher range spread to lower range spread, and you'll see it equals out. So those are the two ways that you can use range spread. You can either have existing ranges and you want to know what the range spread is for each salary grade, or if you're starting out and you only have a midpoint value for each grade, you could determine what the best range spread is that you want to use, and you can use that to calculate your min and your max. Now also note that when you are using this calculation on the midpoint, the midpoint will always have to be the middle value between the two numbers. So if you had salary ranges already and the midpoint is not truly the middle value, if I increase the max here on this G to 40,000, it's not going to equal, these formulas aren't going to work because 27,000 is no longer the midpoint between 23 and 40 because we increased the max. So mathematically, you want to update the midpoint if you're going to update the max. So just keep that in mind if you are making adjustments and then if you go try to back out of it using the same range spread, it's not going to be equal. It's not going to be range spread divided by two to get that minimum if you adjust the min or the max. I hope that makes sense. And if you want to go ahead and grab the free cheat sheet, I'll link to it in the comments. You can find that at timesavingtemplates.com slash free resources and then scroll to the HR and comp freebies. We got the comp metrics cheat sheet right here. That'll be just a quick PDF that goes over the different metrics so you can reference it in your calculations. And then we also have a free guide to get you started with Excel. And until next time, don't forget, I'm here to help you streamline and save time when it comes to using your Excel spreadsheets. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.